It's week 36 of Zur, and I'm going to give you guys my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. If you enjoy my content, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. So, Zer is located on the Traveler, so we're gonna mark him, and then find out what he has this week. Zer, What's up, dude? So like always, we're gonna start with the left hand side. The first exotic we'll be going over is the Crest of Alpha Lupi for the Titan class. It has one mobility and two resilience with one recovery. In terms of perk on this is Survival Well, which generates an additional orb of light from supers and a healing pulse when Barricade is activated. Then we have Posterior Reinforcement Mod, Restorative Mod, and Power Bracket Mod. Now, Crest of Alpalupi was pretty good in the original Destiny. However, it's not really that good in uh, Destiny 2. It has its purposes, but it's probably a better off PvE weapon than it is PvP. So with that said, I'm probably going to give this probably a tier 2 to 2.5 in PvE, but probably more like a tier 3 to 3.5 in PvP. If you guys don't know what my tier scale is, it will be in the description below. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Gemini Jester for the Hunter, and this comes with 3 mobility. Entrance of perk on this is Misdirection, which dodging disorients nearby enemies and temporarily removes their radar. Then we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, Plasteel Reinforcement Mod, as well as Acceleration Mod. Now, given the name, this is probably one of those fun exotics to use. Not really a top tier exotic, however, I'm pretty sure top tier players could make very well use of this, um, given the fact of its intrinsic perk. But, I'm probably just like the uh, Crest of Alpalupi, probably going to give it a tier 2 to 2.5 in PvE and probably a 3 to 3.5 in PvP because, you know, it's not really top tier, but it doesn't really, it's not really that bad either. Next exotic we will be going over is the Return of the Claws of Ahamkara for the Warlock. This comes with one mobility and two recovery. Intrinsic perk on this is the Whispers, which you gain an additional melee charge. Then we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, as well as Plasteel Reinforcement Mod, and this comes with an Acceleration Mod. Now, this all sounds great, but an additional melee charge? It'd be good in PvP, decent in PvE, so I'm going to give the very opposite of these two. I'm probably going to give this probably actually just straight a tier 2.5 in PvP and probably a tier 3 in PvE just for the simple fact of that extra melee charge is good in PvP, but there are better exotics I feel personally out there. I will give it a try though and I will see how good it is and if it does do better I will give it a different review. The weapon of the week is the returning Soros Regime, which is an exotic auto rifle. Intrinsic perk on this is Soros Legacy, which the bottom half of each mag deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health on kill. Then we have Hammer Forge Rifling, Tactical Mag. Then we have Spinning Up, which holding down the trigger increases rate of fire. Underneath that we have Dual Speed Receiver, which when aiming down sights, weapon rate of fire slows when weapon damage increases. Oh, I'm sorry, while weapon damage increases. And then we have hand laid stock. And like all exotics, this comes with a plus five weapon attack mod. Now, I have not used the Soros Regime yet in Destiny 2. I do not have the Soros Regime. And I'm definitely going to go ahead and buy it though. Because I'm a huge exotic collector. And I'm not going to give this a rating just yet because I'm going to play with it a little bit before I actually give it a rating on the next time it comes around for Zer. But if you guys don't have this, go ahead and grab it anyways. So I'm going to grab my Soros and I'm going to grab my Claws of Ahamkara. So before we go to the Faded Engram, we're going to go down to Consumables. We have the Three of Coins, which gives you a chance to get an exotic for four hours. 
And then we have uh, Five of Swords, which is the Nightfall Challenge card. Now, let's see what we get this week for our Faded Engram. We get the Apotheosis Veil. And if you enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.